I'm on a plane to Converse. It's in Boston. And we're gonna talk and watch me interact with a bunch of people who do stuff at the company. What up, D? What's good? I'm fine. It's Tony or <laughs> Matt. Yeah. Let me find out. Okay. Tony. Hey, there's a chocolate man the at the desk here. You ain't gotta lie. <laughs> I ain't even come here to see Tony. Oh. Or Matt. <laughs> uh, let me call you back. This is getting weird. <laughs> What's up, Ma? I'm Brian. Tyler. Thank they you for coming, man. Peanut Arbuckle. All right, Peanut Arbuckle. They just call me Brian. Okay. I saw the one star and I was like, wow, that's such a beautiful shoe. It's bright, like mustard yellow. And now awesome. I wear those shoes. Amazing. You do too. Me too. But let me give you a little bit of history of the company. Let's walk. Let's walk Let's all the way walk there. Let's walk the wall. So. <laughs> that was a quick walk. So we started as a rubber company, and the, the Converse family figured out how to take uncured rubber and cure it so that it would last a little longer. What does that mean? So basically, when you get rubber out of a tree, it's, it comes out as a liquid, turns into a solid, but it's not really durable, kind of falls apart. The Converse family figured out this technique called vulcanization. So you basically cook it at a low temperature with high pressure, and it makes it super durable. This is one of the earliest ones that we still have early 20s where it first started to become the all-star. So everything in the shoe was hyper-functional. Ankle patch protected your ankle. The leather eye stays over that helped the laces not rip out and you could really lock them down. And Nike and Adi come along and go, you know what, we're gonna start making leather basketball sneakers, we're gonna start evolving it. That's where the one star happened. That's crazy. And it's no, really it's a like, great shoe. I didn't know it was a basketball shoe at first either. I think Tyler really needs to see how the one star is made because then he can build his ideas upon that. This is what the shoe's actually made on. It's called the last. It's called the last. What size is this? That's a nine. Why do people do nines for samples? That's a really I think it's good wrong. Question. Don't you don't yeah, you don't feel a certain way? You wear a twelve too? Yeah. I wear a twelve too. I wish they'd sample in twelves. Wow. This is the computer cutter. I get your pattern laid out here. So that's a one star, all the pieces that you need to make it. When did this get made? Last year. Really? So this is still new technology? Yeah, this is relevant technology. And before this became? You would have cut them by hand. So, every, so all like shoe samples yeah. to see where they were going were cut by hand. Yep. Until someone came up with this. Exactly. This speeds yeah. up so much like yeah. Exactly. It makes it a lot more efficient. You can turn exactly. out a lot more, a lot quicker, and very accurately as yep. well. And so every time you want to make a change, we can actually make that change in a digital file and redo it for you. That's crazy. It doesn't look like much, but if you pull this leather back, the pattern just drops right out. Oh my god. Shout out. Wow. Watch the star pop out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is crazy. Once you have those pieces cut out, you actually start to glue them together and then you stitch them together. So we've got a couple prepped for you. So if you want to try, if you want to try your hand at stitching a star. <laughs> oh, this is about to be crazy. Okay. Gotta have a steady hand. Yeah. There you go. In. And then if you lightly press, yeah, just like that, and then turn your piece. I did a shit job already. Fuck. It's cool. It's cool, everyone. We're still here. <laughs> We're, okay. <laughs> yep. I did nothing. <laughs> God, I'm trash. See, that's why we have fantastic professionals like yes. Mary with the most Mary amazing steady hands. Me. Mary, have you heard any of Tyler's music? Do you know Tyler's music? I do you, do you think you'll about... listen now, now that you met him? Maybe. maybe. There you go. You got a maybe. That's great. I love Mary. There it is. 